Hey, what's going on everyone? If you don't know who I am, my name is Nadeem Hamidi. I've been working for Barbell for about six years now. It's been six years, actually two months ago. So six years and two months. And for the past six years, my job has been working on the YouTube channel, creating content for Instagram, and pretty much everything that you guys get to see if you don't actually go to the gym. If you are unaware, during these times, uh, COVID is kind of hindering all businesses, but for a social media company and a gym and stuff like that, it could hinder us really hard because when we have to close down the gym, that means we can't film, we can't put out content for you guys, but with Bart's help, with all the stuff that we've been doing with Justin and our photographer who did the first episode of this series, we kind of touched on how we've been working and kind of handling that. Besides the whole company kind of continuing to run, it's been a blessing to see everyone come together and try to face this challenge that has been quarantining and not being able to actually see each other in person, but I feel like we've been trying to do the best that we can, creating content for you guys, and then also just spreading far brigade to the masses and not letting this whole virus keep us down while staying safe for the whole world. So currently right now, my exact job title is writer and director. So I write all the content, I help direct the content with Justin. He's our photographer, videographer, overall badass. He edits everything and for the past few years, we've kind of been tippy-toeing around like what we've been wanting to do for this channel, working with Bard and trying to create an overall big brand. Now we kind of figured out what the audience liked and the stuff that we like putting out because we always went from, say, putting out just tutorials, putting out content that was like challenges, putting out like bios, documentaries on people, and the culmination of all of those have been whatever has gotten us the best views and we're trying to push for that but with that being said we are a social media company as well so with the youtube and the instagram we've been kind of developing new strategies and i'm really excited for the stuff that you guys are about to see because it's going back to the stuff that who we are what we like to do for fun and the stuff that connected us with all of you guys in terms of like the challenges, um, all the things that you guys love to see and kind of what helped blow us up in the first place that was just sticking true to who we were. So like one of the cool things that we got coming out right now is the Dominic Humbly series that's about to drop within a few days. We have a bunch of challenges, strongman challenges, weightlifting, powerlifting, a bunch of our athletes are gonna do mock meets because that's like the stuff that we had fun doing. And I know that you guys kind of got that inspiration and just that like video feel of pre-workout where you would watch it and want to die to go back to the gym and just get in another workout. I remember at the beginning of quarantine, it's been uh, a little challenging, it's a little bit new. I'm kind of a lazy person, so when they were like, you gotta stay home for a few months, and when I heard that, I was like, that's easy, <laughs> that's basically what I do already. Besides just going to the gym and seeing some friends, uh, I was like, I pretty much just stay at home. I work from home already. I love being kind of like that introvert. I love seeing my friends, but being at home, being in my comfortable zone was kind of like something that I already was used to. So when they announced that, I was like, all right, I got this. But the cool thing was I actually got a new place with a bunch of cool roommates. So right when I moved in, within two months, the quarantine happened. So I kind of had, I would say like friends that I lived with that I could kind of bond with and connect with if I need to get my social interaction up. But also I had my room, which was big enough for me to be able to work, do my own thing, stay away from people if I need to be and kind of be that introvert that I like being sometimes. I don't feel like I really skipped the beat, you know, in terms of training. Uh, I couldn't really like lift heavier than I would say a plate. Uh, luckily, we did have a few dumbbells. We had a bar with a plate on it. Uh, we had somehow found like a random pull-up bar dip machine in like our backyard that was like covered in like dust and spider webs and dirt. But we cleaned that off, and I was fortunate to have those things. So I still continued my training. Uh, I went on quick runs around like a block. I did things that kind of kept me motivated and in shape. I mean, kind of, but. Just keep moving. The things that I love doing, the things that I haven't stopped doing for the past like 10, 15 years, the only thing that kind of like ever came about that like stopping that was not even like injuries. It was just this whole virus thing. You couldn't go to the gym and like never going to a gym and like that just something I never thought would ever happen in my life. So when that happened, I think I kind of took a second, but like quickly looked around the house. We found dumbbells. Our dumbbells were used to basically prop up like tables. So we had our mic stands when we did our podcast. 
Um, they're used for things that you wouldn't typically use weights for, but we scrounged like and got everything that we thought we needed. Um, and luckily we took some equipment from the gym as well. I just took some kettlebells and bands and it was fun. Like I, I loved my roommates. We all worked out together. We all uh, trained in the gym environment. So we were all about that gym lifestyle. So we just brought that to the house and just kept training pretty much every single day, sometimes twice a day just to get motivated and stay in shape. And, but I think the whole mental health and fitness aspect, I didn't really realize that how much I needed the gym. And I picked up a few more hobbies that I always wanted to develop and like build on, like cooking. I wouldn't say drinking is uh, a passion or hobby, but we definitely started drinking more at the beginning of quarantine. That was a fun patch, but um, cooking was something that I was really passionate about. And when I was stuck in the home with all my friends, uh, just ordering Postmates and going out and just buying junk food was kind of getting sick and redundant after I would say like the first week. So I told everyone, I was like, hey, I'll go buy all the food, we'll, I'll make dinners. And I started making these like family dinners for everyone. Um, and it was cool because I, I got to feed my roommates healthy food. They got to test my food, uh, see how it tastes, they give me feedback. Luckily, I feel like everything uh, I was coming up with, they loved. I had my own critiques. I'm very hard on myself with that stuff, but I kind of used them as like guinea pigs and stuff that I want to cook, I want to try, because for me, if I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna make myself top ramen, I'm gonna make myself bullshit, like meal prep, so it's nothing that I wanna make for myself fancy, but when I get to share that with other people and share the happiness and the, the food and everything that I can, that's where I kind of felt like I started to thrive during quarantine. I know online, a lot of people started doing like baking breads and things like that, and I, I, I really liked that, I like seeing everyone get creative with this time, it's because the whole world's going through it, and that's something I kind of kept telling myself, like the whole world is going through uh, a pandemic right now. With the meetings, it's definitely harder not being able to see people in person, uh, but I think we kind of created a good workflow and we're been in it for the past six, seven months of just meeting online. So we kind of got the workflow down and I think uh, it's been really great because we're still pushing, we're still trying to do the things that um, we've been wanting to. Uh, I would say besides the YouTube channel, for the people just watching the company in, it doesn't seem like we've stopped. You know, we still came up with the clothing that we need to come out, that still came up with uh, material, content, everything that we've been trying to hit this year uh, definitely did take a step backwards, but we kind of put our foot forward and was like, how do we solve this in the safest way possible while also trying to push and create new ways of creating material, creating clothing, creating content that's never been done before because nobody's ever been put in this scenario. Um, but I love seeing the company come together. I love seeing you guys still watching us and vibing with us um, through the Instagram, through the YouTube, through in person now, people that are coming to the gym trying to be safe, uh, but also train. And I think just the biggest thing, I've been here for six years now. I just wanna give a huge shout out to all the people that have been uh, loyal to us and all just the new people that have been coming and uh, enjoying the, the stuff that we've put out. For me now, my goals are to continue pushing the boundaries of the content. We're kind of in a good place to kind of pick back up and create this network on YouTube of fitness content, but also things that bring you guys closer to who we are and what we like to do, while also showing you guys through fitness what you can achieve, through fitness how much fun you can have, and the people that you would never thought of being friends with just because they're not in your social circle. I would say just the main thing, just having fun, being healthy, pushing for your goals and just trying to be the best version of yourself that you can. So I think quarantine has taught us a lot. It's definitely been a challenging time, but I'm happy that we've been kind of pushing through it and just staying positive.